Hello my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. With today I have somewhat of a brand new video, a brand new idea, but not my initial idea. It came from Ilinka Makeup and I'll go ahead and link her below, but it's called Shop My Stash. And so she does this video where she actually takes a little basket and goes through all of her makeup and see, you know, what is it that she hasn't used lately. And she will do a look using that. And I thought that was such a great idea when I saw it. And it's been a while and I've been meaning to do that, but other things have come up and finally I'm getting to do it. But I just want to go ahead and link her below because she is a very cute woman. And I mean, at first I thought she was like a teenager and then later I find out that she has two, you know, kids and a husband and everything so but I just can listen to her for hours she's um she lives in Canada and she just has the cutest accent but I want to go ahead and give her a shout out there because um uh you know she does some really interesting things and the big thing is she does both a uh, drugstore and high end so yeah check out her channel below okay and first before we do anything though mm -hmm. okie dokie it is affirmation time okay what do we have today Oh, it's really hot here, guys, today. It's like we're in a heat wave, and it said it'll be anywhere from 98 to 107. It feels like 150, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> okay, so today's card, here it is. It's pretty pastel. Okay, can you see it? Okay, it says, I will create beauty in the lives of others today. I will create beauty in the lives of others today. And that's, um, you know what, that's one thing that people don't realize. By creating happiness, creating a positive atmosphere for others is actually self-care. You know, you would think that in affirmations that, okay, it's I, I, I would do for me, but this is I will do for others and I will too get benefits. So it's really important. And I try to live this, I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis. There's no really need to be mean or, you know, off-put with anybody, especially if you're having a bad day. You know, just turn that around and do something nice or say something nice and that way your bad day may actually turn positive and for a good example right sometimes I mean companies make mistakes okay and then you call that customer service and what's the first thing that happens that poor customer service person just gets a brunt of everything but I make it extra um, I guess uh, not extra special, but I take extra care and not to take it out on that person because whatever happened, I know is not that single person's, you know, problem or their issue. The issue is created by, you know, chain of events, not by one person. Okay. And so when I do call, I said, look, I'm very frustrated. And if I sound sharp, please forgive me because this has been going on for a while. And I know you did not create this. But I am venting if you feel that, okay? But please don't take it personal. I actually say those things, especially when I have to deal with the DMV. That actually just drives me nuts, right? So, mm-hmm. I try to be really careful because you know what? I mean, they're human beings and you don't want that kind of, you know, attitude, uh, right? So, you know, just treat them as you would want to be treated yourself. And so that right there, I mean, creates beauty in their life that somebody actually was nice enough to say, thank you. And thank you so much for helping me or you, or, you know, anything. And just give them a preamble of, you know, I'm frustrated. I'm venting, but thank you for letting me do that. Right? So, yep, that's a good card. Oh, did I hold it up? Let me hold it up again in case I know some of you screenshot these things. Okay. Alrighty then. Now let's get started with shopping my stash. Like I said, this idea came from Elinka and um, I'll sh go ahead and link that one that I saw, the very first one, it was the first episode that she did. So it's been a while. I don't know how many she's done since then. I, I watch her videos, but um, I don't know where she is with that one. So yeah. Anyway, so let's get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, do my priming of my eyelids and do my eyebrows. And you do know that I use the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay. I mean, there's not much to shop there because I only own this and one other eyebrow um, product um, aside for the pomade, same brand though. Okay. So let me do that. Okay. So what I did was I did my eyebrows, like I was showing you with Anastasia. And since I am shopping my stash, I want to try to use things that I haven't used in a little while. And so for my um, eyelids, the priming, I use the Max Paint Pot and Osher. And uh, usually people use um, uh, Painterly 
and those are good for people with a pink undertone or peachy undertone but I have olive yellow more like my skin even though I am neutral so I use what is called soft osher so it blends beautifully to my eyes and um, so this is what I use and it's been a while because I use a lot of the Mario or Anastasia but I haven't used this in a while and I need to so yeah and that's another reason why I like this video because yeah it's like uh, I'm, I get to use things that I've forgotten about because I'm digging around, right? And I just organized just this area. I'm so excited to show you guys because it was a mess. It was, I took a picture of before and now, um, after I need to take a picture. I can just show you that. But anyway, I digress. So what I want to try today, is something I had in my cabinets, but I never used. Okay. And so this is by rare beauty and it's discovery eyeshadow palette and this is how it comes like i said i've not used it yet so yeah and usually i don't you know buy things that some um, uh, influenced by uh, let's say celebrities um unless i know the product is good and i know like fenty I, you know i love fenty products right um so you have rihanna who's uh, that's her product and now i mean this one here I mean, I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try and see if I like it or not. So, yeah. And first of all, let me just show you real quick. Uh, here is the container. It's very cute. Um, and here is the back of it. Tells you uh, the shape of it and the colors. And here it is. Okay. And here is the color story. I find this color story just totally gorgeous. I love this color story. And I like the way it's actually, there's, you know, Glitter and a metal, which is fine, but I mean, look at the um, possibility of this. And so this is a really nice palette. I'm hoping that the quality is good. And here's the mirror like this. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And today, um, I also organized all my brushes, guys. Yeah, I'm going to have to show you my brushes now that they're organized. So here are my Sigma eye, eye brushes and also my Riffer eye brushes. And I also got these little protectors on some of them. I need to keep it on there because I don't use it as often. And so I got a bunch of them and I actually spent the day, yeah, on all of them, all of my brushes. So that took a while. And I got 200 of those um, from um, Amazon for like $14, 200 covers. And they come like, this is just half of them. Um, they come like this right and there's 200 of them for like 14 dollars so well worth it because some of my brushes are very expensive and it's an investment for me so that's what i will be using today and see you let's get it going and i did not powder down my um eyelids uh i it's just right after the osher that's it and so i'm going to go into let's see what is that one called uh sorry about that this one is called positive Okay, I'm going to try to give you the colors, but um, yeah, this is called Positive. And I am going to put this pretty much all over my lid. And I will be using my refer brushes today. So here's the refer brush. Okay, it's a fluffy one. This is a medium fluffy fluff, one. Medium fluffy. <laughs> medium fluffy one. And I'm just going to go kind of all over. Okay, I can tell you right now, I mean, I like how it doesn't pick up like crazy amount of pigment. I like, I think you guys have heard me say this before. I would rather like build it up using a small brush, getting more detail than to, you know, just uh, putting it down and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, and I got to blend it out. So, yep. Okay, next I'm going to go in with this color here. It's called Pure. And I'm going to go a slightly on my crease and above my crease. And I'm using a bigger, fluffier one because I want it to kind of like, um, uh, how would you say? Dissipate? Not dissipate, but what is that word? Uh, I want it to uh, disperse. That's it. <laughs> and so I'm going like a little bit um, above the crease. But remember, light hand, okay? And uh, after you do this, you might have to go back in with the initial color because that's what the idea is that, you know, that was a transition color. And so, yeah. And you guys know I go directly from um, palette to eyelid and I don't dust off 
and I, I've always done that, but um, sometimes I do, depend on a pigment if it's too strong and I got too much on my brush, so yeah. Okay, next I will go in with my smallest uh, round brush, and I will go into this color here. It's called Passionate, Passionate, and I'm just going to simply go into the creases with this one, so I'm going to be really careful. A little bit of kick up, but not bad, um, not really bad at all, so I'm just going to start here and just work very tightly to my crease because I don't want to lift the other colors and just windshield wipers and I just dip it once and just go back and forth until um, I'm happy with it and I want to give it a little bit of depth so I'm going to tap in a little bit more let's see here you go like this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the outer V with this and just kind of work that in Okay, um, you know, I'm always afraid that when I go into the uh, outer V because my eyes water sometimes that it would be, um, how would you say, muddy and it, it's a good thing. It's not muddy. So that I worry about that. Okay, so next I will go in with a flat brush and here's a flat brush. Any flat brush will work. Okay. And this, like I said, is my riffer brushes that I'm using right now. And then for my face, I'm going to use my um, my Real Techniques brushes that I haven't used in forever. And when I was putting away the brushes, I found them. <laughs> anyway, so I think I will go ahead and um, do, let's see, what is that one called? Um, that is called Wonderful. Wonderful? Yeah, Wonderful, Wonderful, uh, something. And which would be... This one here in the middle, okay? And you know how I love these colors. Let's see how well it picks up on the brush because some of these, you know, you end up having to do with your fingers, but you know what? This one seems to have picked up really nice. Uh, let me show you. There it is. Uh, focus, focus, okay? So let's see how it goes on, okay? So, oh my goodness, you see that? It's just like, boom, okay? Oh, look at the shift on this thing. Oh, that's so nice. It's got a golden shift to it. Didn't expect that. Doesn't look like that in a palette. Okay. Okay. I mean, look at this shift. I don't know if you can see that. I hope so. But it's... This is a really pretty color. Wow, I'm surprised. Pleasantly surprised. And it goes on so easily. It's not like, you know, sometimes like uh, Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath, theirs is so baked well that, you know, it's it's really hard uh, to get it on without um, using the fingers. And But this one is easily picked up with, um, with the brush. And this is a dual chrome. So, yeah, it's got a gold shift to it. Very nice. Huh. I hope you guys can pick it up because this is such a pretty color. Okay, so this is what I have so far, and I hope the camera picks up this gold shift because it's gorgeous. Now I can see why they chose this glitter color. Um, so yeah, and um, beautiful dual chrome. And what I'm going to do since it does have that gold shift, and I don't want to do glitter right now, but I will go ahead and uh, let's see what this color is here. It's so written. It's written so fancy. Okay, it's pure. Okay. And it's this gold here. And I'm going to tap that in the middle, actually. And I'm going to use my fingers for this one. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of yellow. <laughs> okay. So let me let me just quickly show you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that in the middle. Give it a, a little bit of a... Ooh. Yeah, this is very nice. If I want the shift to blend into this color. Because I don't think this is a dual chrome, right? No. Okay. So uh, this is a middle. And God, this thing is so pigmented.
Wow. This is very nice. I'm loving this palette. And you know what? I, and I haven't used it. And so that's like, okay. All right. Lessons learned, right? So I think that should be it. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this out a little bit going back to here. And I believe I used the middle color. Yeah, this one here. And because it's gotten quite, I, I lost that color and I want to go ahead and regain it. So I'm looking in a mirror over here. So if you're wondering, what is she doing looking over there? I keep my uh, lighted 10 times mirror on this side because I, I'm blind as a bat. Okay. The only thing that's missing in this palette, I don't know if you could even say it's missing. Well, no, let's try it because there's another light color here. I was going to say something for the inside. But let's see, I'm going to go ahead and use my tiniest um, pencil brush, okay? Okay, and then let me see how this works out. Uh, let's see. And there's no kick up on um, these uh, metals and dual chromes. Um, there was just very, very tiny in amount. I mean, very tiny. So let's see. I just want to lighten up the inside a little. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, so I take it back. So it's really not missing anything. It looks, uh, it looked a little bit darker in the pan than it is, than it's showing up on my eyes. So, yeah, not bad. Let me do this side better. Okay, that's that. Okay, so I think that's it for the eyes for now, um, as far as eyeshadow goes. But you know what, you guys, I love this. I'm glad that um, I decided to do this video, and that I saw a link. A, I have a problem with the name, Ilinka or Ilinka. Um, starts with an I, but I think it's pronounced Ilinka. So, yeah. Sorry if I got it wrong. So, anyway. So, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, should I put this back in the box? Mm, maybe not because I'm going to be using it. So, I'll just throw the box away. It's been a pain. So, yeah. Good choice. Good choice. Okay. Next, what I will do is I will go with my mascara, I think. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to um, line the bottom yet until I do my uh, foundation. So I think I'm just going to go off screen real quick because uh, this part um, I always do. And this is the uh, my eyelash uh, separator. Then I'm going in with my Riffer Curler, which I've been loving so much. And as usual, because I don't own that many uh, mascara, I mean, I threw away a few of them over the week because, yeah, they just weren't working out. So I'm going to go back with this, okay? So it's it's nice when you don't have to make so many choices. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And the only thing I did was actually the mascara because um, next I want to go ahead and put on my makeup and then I'll go underneath the eyes afterwards, right? So uh, one of the things that I've forgotten about, um, not really forgotten about, forgotten about because I see it ever so often, but um, this Clay de Peau primer, um, very expensive. This thing is like nearly a hundred dollars, if not at hundred dollars. And I was thinking it was this great, um, primer with SPF and come to find out it only has SP, uh, blah, 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 SPF of 21. And so I was kind of disappointed by that because I do need at least 30. And so, yeah, but what I do is I use this, um, actually, um, over other SPF. Um, I do have SPF on already for the day and, um, it is my Polish choice, so yeah. And but this is um, this is a veil, and so it's very light. Um, so I can see why there's only SPF 21. But um, yep, I do like it though. Don't get me wrong, but I mean for the price, you would think they put more SPF in it, you know? I'm like, dang. So yeah, and you know it came highly rated. So I decided, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and um give it a try because it is a very lightweight primer and it doesn't have dimethicone, but it dries up very nicely, and it actually creates like um, a barrier, and I can feel it once it dries up, and so but it's not oily, it's not you know it's not anything like that, and I actually have a little bit of a you know just like a little a burn. Uh, this is um. Actually, a um, you see, this is from exfoliating, so it's it's gonna happen, <laughs> and um, I knew it was gonna happen, but you know, it's always bothers me because it's really hard to. Uh, right now is not a time for me to be wearing matte um, 
makeup because you'll see it flaking if that's the case you know what i mean so sorry about that i keep pulling on this thing but i don't want it to fall off and so okay like i said clay de paul and this is called um i don't know if you saw it but it's long lasting hydrating veil with broad spectrum spf 21 sunscreen which like i said is not enough so yeah but at least um i'm using it because i'm doing this video okay next um this is one that I actually bought because it came so, so highly rated and I used it once and I liked it. I actually did, but I have like, mm, I'm going to say looking at it real quick, about 30 different foundations that I, I, you know, I bought because to try for you guys. And, um, this is one that I didn't go back to yet. Um, but this is definitely a, um, dewy look. And the thing about this, um, this one here and by Clinique is that um, it does have skincare in it. It does have skincare in it and it's very, very nice. And so, yeah, let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use this. Uh, I'm not going to use a sponge because it is quite thin and most of it will go into the sponge if I do. I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush. I haven't used it in a long time, but it's, I, I like it. I mean, it's really nice. And so what I usually do is I'm going to take this and kind of give it a couple of squirts. Okay. And it is a little light maybe. Um, for this time of year, not sure. Oh, I think that was too much. Yep, that was definitely too much. Maybe one squirt next time. Yeah, okay. Guess I'm starting. Oh my god, I didn't realize it was gonna squirt out that much. Like I said, it's been a while. I don't recall it. So, okay, that was a waste. <laughs> okay, so we know this goes a long way. Well, that took a lot of work, actually, guys, to, I mean, to blend this in. I don't know if it's because of the brush, and I could probably have used a, um, a sponge. Um, but, yeah, it took a little bit of work, and it does give me full coverage, it looks like. And uh, since I had so much on my hand, I still have that much left. Look at it. That's a lot. I hated to waste that, but, yeah, I, I can't put any more. I mean, my, my face won't move. And another thing I just bought is, hold on. Okay here i am again okay so what so something i bought is look at this it's like a crisper type of thing but it's not really it's it, because it's there's no hole in it and it is a container that has a little basket for like fruits and vegetables you want to wash them so what i do is now i put my dirty brushes in here and i put it aside and then i wash them right after and that way i have this and it can actually lay because there's a space there so it can drip dry as well if you don't have a hanger or if you have like for my i'm gonna use that to dry for my double-sided brushes because you can't hang them when you have you know one side up so yeah as you notice i think in the last two days i mean my husband has been so good he's been going with me everywhere to buy um containers to put all of my stuff in and so there's like huge amount of um yeah things that containers all over the place but um i think i'm going to take this back sh uh, shield down even though it doesn't look great back there but i think i will just so it gives me a little more room to work so yeah you know so anyway the next thing i'm going to use is um i got this sample from rare beauty and so i want to try it and i'm going to try like the bronzer and also the um uh the what do you call it oh this is a bronzer highlighter and these are a highlighter and i'm going to try the blush and so i'm going to see like, the product you know they're uh, how it is so yeah and i don't think i'm going to uh bronze my face right now um yeah no i don't think so i'm just gonna go ahead and put a blush and um put the highlighter that should be good yeah and so which color should i go with this has got a pink and with a gold shift so i'm going to go with this color here so let's see and this color is actually called soft pinch bliss bliss okay alrighty that's that's kind of cool okay how does this work okay guys sorry about that um yeah the camera said it was taking too long so i know it's at 25 minutes so i'm going to try to um clip some of the other parts so hopefully so anyway the color i'm going to go with like i said is um let me see what did i say bliss right here it is and it's a cute little peachy color and I, it's really hard for me to work with these blister packs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little bit um you know what i'm just going to take the what's on there and I will use this 
brush here and this is real techniques again i'm just going to go ahead and uh, put a little bit on here and let's see how it goes and and um i think i don't know if you could guess why okay this is nice oh yes nice i don't know if you could guess why i went with the dewy um uh what do you call it um uh god foundation is because i'll tell you some of my um other foundation that's matte if I put a liquid product on top of it, it lifts the foundation and looks like this is not doing that. And actually this dried up more matte than I thought it would. But uh, let's see. Wow, this is really a pretty color. You know what, guys? Yeah. Oh, this is really pretty. Now, how am I going to save this? I don't know if I'm going to be able to save that, but I'm going to try because this is nice. Because look how much. I only use like a dot. Off the. I didn't even use that. I used what's on the on the sheet here, the cover here. So, wow, this is really a nice, nice color. Huh. And, you know, and I'm reluctant, really, guys, to use um, uh, cream products on top of um, foundation because, like I said, it lifts. But this one is doing a good job. And I'm going to stay away. As you notice, I, I do my... Um, blush this way because I do have a round face and I want it to elongate my face but instead of doing it like some people just automatically put it here and apple the cheeks that's okay if you have a long face and you want to shorten it and make it more round but if you have face like mine which is relatively round too close to oval um this is a better way which is this direction okay if it was powder I'll be doing this okay but it's not so I'm tapping it in that direction okay so wow this is really pretty I can't get over that hmm who knew, right? I've had this sample for like forever, guys. Okay, I'm going to see if I can close this up. Nope. Okay. I'll put it in a little like a, yeah, <laughs> like a dressing container or something. Okay, that's that. And next, I'm going to, again, use this weird shaped, yeah, uh, Real Techniques brush. And I'm going to go into this shade here it's called transcend and there's two different ones and here's one here this is called flaunt right and this one is called transcend the reason why i chose to go with this one is because there's it's a plain off of the gold and the red uh the pink where this one has a pink shift it looks like whereas this one is completely gold and yellow and i don't want to do that i want to go ahead and um yeah whoa okay here it is okay Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Let's see if I can. I'm just putting a teeny tiny bit again, just tapping it off of the um the top. The yeah. Let's see. Okay, this is gonna take. You know, you have to be really. Look at this. Wow. You have to be um, patient with this one. I can tell because you have to really tap it in there otherwise you're going to have a line okay so wow this is really pretty you know what i forgot to do guys before all this and i have it right here is my um concealer my concealer totally forgot about the concealer but i don't think i need to conceal anything do i guys i don't have dark circles right yeah okay yeah Okay, now I'm going to tap this in. You know what? I think I'm going to put a little bit more, but I don't, not too much. Okay. Wow, look at this. This is actually really pretty. Hmm. And I put a little tap on my nose here. And a little. Right there, my cupid's bow. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Oh, this is a perfect brush for it, actually. Okay, and I'm going to tap it until I don't see a line. Okay. And this, too, did not lift my foundation, which is good. Okay, now i got to figure out how to save these because these are really pretty, and I would hate to throw them away. Maybe I can tape them or something. I don't know. I'll get frustrated and throw it away. That's what usually happens, but maybe I can scoop it into something small. So, okay. That's that. And next what I want to do is I want to, because I still have some things that I shopped and actually I was going to use my, you know, there was something that I haven't used in a long time. You guys remember I was so excited about this dose and um, dose of color 
and I use this for so long every day which is my concealer but I forgot and I don't want to ruin the rest of my cheek look because of it sorry guys so next time I'll use that okay and next um, what I'm going to do is um, this is SPF 45 powder okay and because of uh, let's see because I have all this liquid and dewy look I'm going to go ahead and tap this on my face just so I get a little bit of um, dewiness and I kind of seal it like this and this is actually SPF um, uh, powder and what I do is uh, I just kind of close it and I tap it down like this it's by super goop I love this stuff and again I haven't used this in a while you know because all this other products I have now and I'm gonna go ahead and tap that on my forehead and on my nose. And the reason why I'm doing that is also it gives me additional protection of SPF. And um, yep. And by the way, I don't know if you guys been uh, looking at the anniversary sale for uh, Nordstrom's. I'm really disappointed with what they have to offer this year, but they do have one of these with the refill. So I'm definitely put that on my wish list because I should be able to shop early um, there. So hmm, I'll let you know what I get if I get much. Okay. Probably just going to be necessities, yeah. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and seal that part in as well. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm seeing lines underneath my eyes. Not liking it, but that's okay. Okay. And I did say I was going to do something with under my eyes. I'm going with my Victoria Beckham. Uh, the reason why I, I use this a lot, but the reason why I decided on this is because of the color. Just, I don't have colors like this, you know, in any other, any other one. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take this mirror and let's see. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> okay. I just kind of look down and put that on like that, right? And then I take the other side, which is this cool little thing here. And I just kind of tap that too. I don't like to rub it too much because I don't want to, yeah. That one got a little bit lower. Let me fix that. Okay, that's that. And next, the last thing I have to do is lips. So I have this um, lip pencil that I've had for a while. I loved it in the beginning because look how short it is now because they were long. These are lip cheats by uh, Charlotte Tilbury and I've forgotten all about it with the excitement of other things. So yeah, so I figure, let me, this is a perfect time for me to pull it out and let me go ahead and do my lip line. So Okay, this is always tricky for me. I, I gotta go up like this so that way you guys can see. All right, I can live with that. And I do draw in like a little bit deeper in because today what I'm going to do is again something that I, I used to love when I gotten it earlier and then I kind of fell out of favors with it, which is again Charlotte Tilbury and it's the uh, Pillow Talk. It's a lip gloss, right? And I should use it more because these have like hyaluronic acid and it's really, you know, nice for the lips. Um, yeah, I don't know about the pricing. I mean, it's quite expensive for, you know, but I got it as a kit. So, yeah. And this is minty because it does have a plumper a plumper and this is such a weird doe foot it's not a doe foot it's like i don't know what that is it's like a buck foot or something there's a split in the metal reminds me of those little things that the devils carry a pitchfork yeah that's it so okay Hey, Kate, that's that, my beautiful wildflowers. Hold on one moment. Let me put on something on my head. I'll be right back. Here I am. So, let me see. I want to just talk about one quick thing. I mean, what do you think? I mean, I love this idea of sh shopping my stash. You hear me? Shopping my stash. And Elenka, thank you so much for this video because, I mean, I would have never thought of it until I saw your video. So like I said, guys, give her a checkout. I have linked her below 
especially this video here, which is the Shop My Stash. So yeah, she used totally different products and um, it was kind of cool because she does take you through the steps of picking things out. And so, which I could have done, but I mean, I, I'm not set up for it right now because I'm trying to move and all that. But anyway, that's no here nor there, but great, great. I loved it. I think I'm going to do more of it because I use things that I've forgotten about. Although at one time I was in love with, right? So so anyway, and things that I never even used that's been sitting in my drawer. And by the way, this is um, this sells for $29 at Sephora. I highly recommend it. I'm actually very surprised by it. Like I said, I'm not big on celebrity makeup. Um, they're overrated most of the time. There's three celebrities that I can think of that I buy from this Rare Beauty, Fenty, and KKW, which she is rebranding now. So, uh, But I've tried all of them. Those are the only three that I really, really like to say, you know, I want to try it, try more of their stuff. So, yeah. So, we'll see. Anyway, but like I said, let me show you this color story again. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And I was able to use this color, this color, this color, this color, this color, and this color. Actually, I used it all except for the glitter in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and try this glitter at some time. So I'm you know, being that it's daytime right now, I don't want to do that. But, I mean, I really, really like the quality. I mean, look at it. As you can see, it didn't, you know, it's not something that would have kicked up. I mean, this is so moist that as I stuck my brush in it, it kind of displaced itself. But that's great because it sticks to my, you know, to my eyelids well. This color didn't kick up at all. And this one kicked up maybe so very slightly, very slightly, but maybe because I was digging in there to try to get the out of V. So, but um, the quality of this palette is beautiful. Um, the size is perfect. The price right on. So yeah, this is five wildflowers uh, worth of product here, right here. And like I said, this is really easy to carry. And this is something I'm going to think about carrying next time. Just one palette is what I try to take on my trip so i'm thinking about just taking this and look how this is like so easy to carry so yeah just want to give you that feedback but yep yeah. so let me know what you think my beautiful wildflowers and um i will try to do more of these as time come okay and so if i added any value please do hit like and if if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for Come and join us. Come and be part of the Wildflower family. And right now, being that I'm at um, over 700, there is a giveaway going on. And this will post well before the cutout, which is the 15th is when I'm cutting off. So hopefully, I think this will, yeah, it will air before that. So I'll make sure of it, I think. What are we today? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I have plenty of time because I do video ahead of time because I do have a full-time day job. And so I try to do it pretty much all on the weekends if I can. So yeah, so I will try to get this up before that's over. So if that's the case, go ahead and subscribe and watch the video I'm talking about that I will link below as well, okay? Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, I want you to have a good day, a good night, a good week, or a good weekend. It does not matter when you're watching this, but just do remember, never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon, bye-bye.